This is what I call a reverse get ready with get ready with me. I don't watch beauty vlogs or anything. Like I don't really do beauty. <laughs> but this is what I call a reverse get ready with me vlog because we are not getting ready for anything but bed. So wind down with me vlog. <laughs> So just between us girls, I am so excited to be submitting to AMM. However, <laughs> I literally have not worked on Inmix Company in <laughs> half a year. And I am really liking my NaNoWriMo project. I'm having so much fun with it. And it's a lot more lighthearted. It's not quite as issue driven. <laughs> and. So I did put on my author mentor match submission, there was a question about what other pro what projects are you working on? So I put the entire pitch for my NaNoWriMo project, hoping that the mentor, one if I was so lucky that a mentor would choose me, first of all, and second of all, that a mentor would be like, that other project sounds more fun, let's work on that. I know that's not how it goes, but like your mentor is your, your bud, like your bud. And like things can shift once you decide to be buds. It's not like you're locked into one project. Unless of course your partner, your mentor, really is attached to one project. So I mean, obviously everything's up in the air, but like, <laughs> I'm not ready to put down my work in progress, my NaNoWriMo project yet. I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna plan out. But I do know that I any, anything could happen, and I'm just really impressed that these curls have lasted this long. My hair does not. <laughs> I poof out, but I try to do new mousse. And now my curls are like here to stay, okay? Um, but yeah, so I would love for my mentor to say, Keep working on your other project for a little while, girlfriend. It's fine, don't worry about it. We can work on Inmix Company when we feel like the world is ready, when the timing is right. But right now, it's just, it, I don't want to just say that it's politically charged, but I mean, it's kind of, I mean, there's white supremacy in it. There's a little bit of racism. There's, you know, Confederate history. There's police brutality and like, I don't know if you've seen the news, but baby, I don't know if I need to spend all of my non-news watching hours going through that. And that's, I think, part of the reason why so many agents are passing on it. One, because it's just not good enough. Don't me, don't let me sound too conceited there. But I'm not convinced that <laughs> my story the timing doesn't feel right today. Like it feels relevant because, you know, it's relevant. But at the same time, it's a lot to ask anybody to deal with, like agents, mentors. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Like, I don't know if, <laughs> it would have been great if this book had come out right now because it could be a comfort for people. But in the meantime, <laughs> having to go through it and hash it out over and over. What is happening back here? Ooh, we'll add this, see if that'll keep everybody up. Okay, nighttime bun. We love it. Um, I don't really know if a mixed company needs to happen right now. I mean, I would love for it too. That's why I need a mentor. I need a mentor to kind of help me like think through realistic publishing timelines because it's a lot to take in when you don't really know what the market wants. Am I the only one that like doesn't put makeup on this quadrant of like on this half of your face? Like my makeup looks here. <laughs> outside of the mask zone because I have to wear a mask at my new job and also every time I leave the house or go anywhere, we've got our mask on. So I'm not trying to waste this much makeup. No, no. Part that gets me is like, I don't wear eyeliner. So like, ugh, this part sucks because I put on eyeliner today and I'm just, oh, just 
feel like I'm rubbing my eyes so much. <sighs> so anyway, publishing timelines confuse me. I don't know what the market wants. I don't know if my story is too heavy. I don't know if I just want to write my friend, my really fancy sweet like rom-com. But I also feel like every day that my story is not on the shelves, there's someone who feels like I feel. Does that make sense? Like they're like. I wrote my story with the intention of making myself feel seen, heard, and validated. And like now that I feel that, you know, it's relatable content. Did I get it all? Oh, maybe not. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I also don't really know if we need to vlog while we're taking our makeup off, but you know, we're trying to keep it fresh. It's a new year. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna crawl into bed with uh, Angie Montoy's book and consume it. <laughs> oh. This bun's too tight. My curls are gonna be oh, un unhappy tomorrow. I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit. You know, I gotta keep it loose. <gasps> like it's gotta be loose, like a plop, like a nice little pineapple. It's okay if this stuff's hanging down. I'm not trying to do a curl tutorial video. I'm really talking to myself, but <sighs> this is the best part. The bonnet to keep your curls silky soft and silky down. Oh, oh heavens. Gotta get them all tucked in there. <laughs> okay, teeth, check. Skin, check. Makeup, gone. Uh, moisturized. Curls are plopped and silky satin smooth. Let's go read a book and go to bed.